there's so many characters in Workshop, and I love most of them. Uh, but for as many characters that are in Workshop, there still seems to be not enough characters in Workshop. It never gets old. Every new character that comes out, whether they're finished or not, they always have something cool about them, and I like it. And I have like 40-something pages. I might have gotten rid of a bunch, so I'm probably at like 39. But 90% uh, of them, I love them. The other 10% are just Sandberg clones that aren't even finished yet. So today, what I wanted to talk about is characters that could potentially be in Workshop. And the way I'm going to talk about that today is I have a folder of things that could be in Rivals of Ether. I've had this folder here for a long time. Uh, I've been in the scene since 2015. I think that's when... Yeah, I think so. It's September of 2015, whenever we had early access. And I've saved a bunch of Reddit threads. I've saved a bunch of photos from Reddit, from Twitter, Discord, everywhere. And my Rivals picture folder is just... its it is a very long list, and within that list, there are multiple folders. So, I'm going to grab a bunch of characters, probably just do the entire folder. There's at least 10, uh, probably 15 with other types of gimmicks or something. There, there's one in here with ultra forms of most of the characters, like Edelus and Maple and Orcane. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show that to you guys today. Okay, so this is my list of everything Rivals related. I have it all in a folder. Uh, the only things that aren't in here are like the actual videos that I've made. Everything else is from like Twitter, Discord, uh, Reddit, you name it, that's probably where I got it from. Now within this folder is a bunch of other folders, and one of those folders is things that could have been in Ether. So we're gonna go into that, and we're gonna explore everything! Okay, so we're gonna start this off with Svetlava, because that's my pride and joy. Ever since I made that video way back, what, two years ago in 2017? I've wanted her in the game ever since, that was probably around the Ori release. Since Workshop came out, there's been significantly more activity on this Fet Lava video. And don't worry if you guys haven't seen it and you're here for the first time. I'm going to put that in the info card and you can pause the video, watch that, and then come back and continue this. A lot of people have been asking, hey, when's she going to be in Ether? When's she going to be in? Workshop's out. Go get it done. Do it, do it, do it. And I'm just sitting here like, well, I don't know how to pixel art. Well, I do know how to do tiny bits of pixel art. like stick figures on fire that's it and uh <laughs> i know nothing about coding so most of the sweat lava team has actually either moved on from rivals because they either lost interest or they just haven't been active whatsoever in the discords the only one that i talk to every now and then is clownster and that's about it none of the original team were actually like coders or pixel artists the only one that really was was clownster who came up with the original design of sweat lava and since then We've had a couple people join into the Discord. We have a couple coders, and then we do have one or two pixel artists, but they've been really busy with school and just life things, so it's understandable. So if you guys would want to help out, this is the updated version of Svetlava. I know it definitely does look a lot different. She's not as like rounded, cartoony. It's more of just like the, the style really fits into Rivals when you put a character in the game, and that's all thanks to Shockle. Unfortunately, Shaco can't dedicate a lot of time because he is in school, which is completely understandable. Life stuff comes first, way before the fun stuff. So, with that being said, um, that's about as far as we've gotten. The coders have actually helped uh, animate her idle animation with Shaco. Um, they put the idle animation in the game, so here's a thing of that real quick. But just seeing her go from a original drawing two years ago to this updated version that now moves and is in-game not exactly in-game but the idle animation being in-game is pretty nuts it's like a huge step but we've definitely paused since then so if any of you guys are pixel artists or coders and would like to help comment down below or dm me on like twitter or discord or come on my stream and be like hey how you doing tech uh i wanted to help with this fat lava project and I can shoot you an invite and you guys can join the Discord over there. Or you can join my Discord and then jump in there and be like, hey, I want to join the Sweat Lava Discord and help out. This next character is an octopus character made by a guy on Twitter named Mr. Monster. He drew all of the types of animations he would have and it's really cool. It's a mix between Ivysaur and Diddy Kong from PM. 
and you guys can pause the video at any point and you can see all of his moves. I'm going to have the picture up for a while as I talk to him anyway. But he's got stuff like his neutral special would be kind of like Solar Beam from Ivysaur and then his side special would be like uh, Diddy Kong's Flip Kick. So he's got a lot of really cool tools. I think it would be really nice if someone made this. Um, unfortunately, the guy's not really that active on Twitter. The, one of the last things he actually did tweet was this to Dan. Um, I don't know what we would call him, but I kind of think Mr. Monster actually kind of fits. He'd be like this cute octopus character that just runs around and just shoots sludge at people and has like a sludge solar beam. I think it'd be pretty cool. But uh, I do know one person in particular that would love to work on this character, but unfortunately they are too busy right now because of the holidays and just working on other projects. But whenever that time comes, uh, wish stream, I look forward to if you still have the passion for this character to, to making it because you did an amazing job on your other characters. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, Westream created a little character named Astra or Astra. I don't know how they wanted the character to be pronounced, but it's a really fun character. So if you don't have this character yet in your workshop, go subscribe now because the character is really badass and really fun. Yeah, I think it'd be cool if this character got into Aether. Uh, I love me some Ivysaur and Diddy Kong and PM, so that's just my second character that I thought was really fun. The rest of these characters aren't in any particular order, but I'm just kind of looking at these photos and whichever ones stick out to me, that's the one that I'm going to talk to you guys about. So the next one is Professor Proc. I'm going to try and find the original Reddit thread, and I'm going to put it in the description below. So pause the video, look at the description, and see if I found the Reddit thread. If I didn't, I'm so sorry, but I think if you just type in Professor Proc, you can probably find it somewhere on Reddit. He kind of gives me that vibe of like Plague Knight, because he's, he's holding like a, a bottle of, of something, and he's like an alchemist, and he's just going to like throw stuff at you and probably do different status effects on you, and it kind of reminds me of Plague Knight from Shovel Knight when he throws a bunch of stuff and there's like explosions or there's different types of things. So I think that character is really cool. Uh, obviously, it'd probably be a zoner, but it'd probably also have some really cool stuff to do as well. So, um, Professor Proc would be super interesting if they were in the game. There's not much lore to him. He's just a snake, and he's an alchemist, and he looks badass. Now, this next group of characters, I think they were also on Reddit. And there was rumors that people were actually making one of the characters. And it's the deer with the bow. Also, if you watch the character reveal for Silvanos, you can find the deer character fighting, uh, I think it's Renburn. So I thought that was pretty cool how uh, Dan put that in there for whenever they had the Silvanos character being revealed. But all these characters seem really dope. I don't know why there's like six different versions of this like fiery lizard, but there's only two versions of the rest of the characters. Like the one that looks like Blastoise. Uh, he's, he has a steam mechanic that's probably related to Eliana, but this came out way before Eliana was even a thought, I think, or at least before we even knew we were going to have a snake and a mech. Uh, the bat, I think that's a really cool character as well. It could probably have like some weird like sound type related abilities or something. And the, uh, the lava lizard, fire lizard thing. Um, I don't even know what you could do with that, but the character design looks like super sick and would obviously probably be a heavy just because of the design, whereas the deer would probably be quick and the bat would probably work like Raster and just be broken. Now the next character that I'd love to see in this game would definitely be Cory in the house because if you don't remember this April Fool's joke, uh, Cory in the house was supposed to be this, uh, oh that's gonna be the next character, we're gonna put Cory in the house and it was an April Fool's joke for Dan. Um, I'm going to have the pictures up here. There's the uh, original penguin design of Edelis for people that were um, trying to find uh, some files in the game or something. That that was there and it was also like the teaser silhouette of like who's going to be next for DLC before we had all the characters. But um, I think someone actually should make Cory in the house. I think that would be really cool. The other character I think they should make uh, would be Gus from Recess just to make Dan happy because I know he loves Gus from Recess. Other characters that I think deserve to be in here. Remember guys, this is in no particular order, so uh, I know this is later in the list, but don't flame me. Mayreed and Bradshaw. I'm really surprised no one has even attempted to make Bradshaw yet. I mean, maybe they're hoping Dan makes them, makes 
Bradshaw. Uh, personally, I like Mayreed better, but that's just me. I think it would be a cool, interesting take if someone attempted to make Bradshaw and Mayreed. I don't know how they would function differently from Maple and Raster, but uh, there, there's got to be some cool stuff you can do with them. So for all you Bradshaw like guys out there that are just hella passionate, and for the Mayreed people that are still out there, uh, if you guys know any pixel artists, go you know, get it done. I think it'd be really cool. The next character that I think would be really cool would be Glace. Uh, she was like this arctic fox looking thing and it was made by JC Onyx like forever ago. I think this was on Reddit and if it wasn't Reddit it was definitely Twitter. I don't know how long ago this was but this character looked really sick. So I think that would also be uh, kind of cool to have like another ice themed character in the game uh, aside from Edelus. These next couple of characters are all from Elrano. I don't know if Elrano's actually thought about putting these characters in Rivals since we now have Workshop, but he has a dragon, a lizard, and this other character named Thracos. I don't really know any lore behind them, I just remember seeing these on Twitter and saving them and saying uh, those characters would be really badass if they were in Rivals. Thracos has like some type of saber. The lizard, he seems like he could be I don't know, maybe like a brawler type or something. He's got that glove on his on his fist and he's just wearing like a tank top. And then the dragon looks like he has some type of like maybe air element that he would have because he's just surrounded by air. So um, if any of you guys like this character and you're a pixel artist that thinks you could, you know, maybe do it, maybe go talk to Elrano and then, you know, uh, try and get the character in there. Basically, all these characters is just to remind the entire Rivals community that, hey, these old things, they still exist, and now you can make them exist in Workshop. See, like this picture right here, I'm just grabbing this picture specifically for one character, and it's Lilac. Lilac is already in Workshop, and I think that's really cool that I have this picture from forever ago when people were like, hey, I really like Lilac in the game, and they put Lilac into Workshop, and she's actually a pretty cool character. As far as the fish and Latch, I don't know who the fish is, but I know Latch is from Lethal League, and that's actually the character that I played a lot. And I was kind of hoping that if we had the other guest character and it wasn't Shovel Knight, I was kind of thinking it'd be kind of cool if Latch was in there and he was like more pixelated. Now, a few days ago, I saw this being talked about in the Rivals Discord, and I'm still waiting for you guys to get into it. But, uh, Rano Giraffe. <laughs> Rano Giraffe came about, uh, right when Rano was released. It wasn't soon after when someone, like, made this drawing and put it in. I don't know if they knew about the Svetlava project, but I specifically remember seeing the reveal for Rano, seeing that they used the stacking ability that Svetlava had, and the whole Svetlava Discord was blowing up, being like, oh my god, Dan used like some of our ideas, which was really cool. So uh, I don't know if that spawned from that, making the Rano design into a giraffe, but uh, if it did happen, it's sick. If it didn't, it's sick. It's really cool. This next character, I don't remember at all where it's from, but the person that designed this character's name is Angel Wolf, and the character's name is Hayao. It's a wolf with a gun and a sword. Um, that's all you need to know. I mean, the character looks really sick. It has some cool battle scars, so I'm about it, and it's a snow wolf, so it probably has ice mechanics, and I like ice mechanics. I say I like ice mechanics, and I don't even play Edelus. This next character, uh, I've seen something float around that resembles this character. It's a Sylvan by Wish. I don't know if it's the same like Wish stream or not, but uh, I remember seeing this character and it's really cool. It's an armadillo with a pickaxe. I like it. Someone made a GIF that I'm going to put on the screen here. Hopefully it doesn't like break and crack up. I'm hoping that I can actually put the GIF in. But uh, if you're seeing it on the screen, it worked. If you're not seeing it on the screen, then it didn't work with my editing program. I apologize. Uh, Sylvan, this gif right here uh, that someone made, pixel arted it and gave it an idle animation. It's by American Trail Mix. So American Trail Mix, if you're still in the NA chord and you'd like to uh, make something more of Sylvan, then uh, I mean, we now have Workshop, so you can do that. And the last of these original characters that I see here in this folder is gonna be some character by Issy, uh, I-S-S-Y. I don't remember if they were in the Discord and I saw this or if this was on Twitter, but I don't even know what this character is. It's just, it's cute. 
it has some type of umbrella, I think, and that's what it attacks with, and it just, it looks adorable. It, it kind of reminds me slightly of, like, maybe a off Undertale design, question mark? I'm not entirely sure, but I, I just like the design. I think it's really cool. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to talk about the redesigns or additions to pre-existing characters that I think would be really cool. I don't know how people could redesign like a raster or crag or something and put it in the game as a custom, but I mean they do have a specific version of crag that says uh, crag but only rocks. All of his moves just throws rocks. So I think if that's possible, then this is probably possible. The first three things I want to show you is Dark Acolyte Absa, Elite Raster, and this alternate form of Edelis with a different type of armor. These are really cool and I just wanted to share this with you guys because uh, you know, I, I, just, I just think it's badass. And the rest of these are uh, Absa and Ultra Absa, Edelis and Ultra Edelis, Crag and Ultra Crag, Maple, Ultra Maple, Orcane and Ultra Orcane, and Raster and Ultra Raster. The only one that I don't really like that much is Ultra Raster. He, I don't even know what he reminds me of. It looks like the wings, or not the wings, it looks like the propellers on the Air Armada ship, like he's fused with it or something. I don't know, it looks weird. Ultra Absa looks really cool. Her sash got a lot longer, and she just has clouds surrounding her the entire time making lightning so she's just extra dangerous because she's just a walking bomb uh kind of like how her down special is but all the time i guess i don't know edelis is super cool he, he's just got constant ice spikes and it just gives a different design to his armor which i think is also really badass ultra crag is just a thicker boy so i mean uh you know he, he just has a longer horn i think it's like a different beetle um i think originally he's a hercules beetle i don't remember I know I've seen a bunch of different types of beetles that he's potentially based off of but um, yeah I think this is also a really cool design maple is probably one of my favorites uh, this ultra maple I think is really badass I love the tail because it's like a scorpion tail and the leaf blades that remind me of like scyther from Pokemon I just really like it it's a really really cool design so uh, I don't know how anybody can get this in game but if you did uh, I'd love you forever the last one is Ultra Orcane. It's super cool. He's surrounded by water, and now he has fangs. So he's adorable, cuddly, and now very, very dangerous. So, aside from having a frame 7 down smash, but, you know, that's besides the point. That's going to about do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Also, follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, come hang out over there on Twitch. That would be really fun to uh, have you guys over there. I still play Rivals, and I've been playing some Workshop characters, and sometimes the creators jump in and they uh, tell me how the characters are meant to be played and their gimmick. So it's really fun and a really good time. If you guys have lasted this long and managed to finish this video, thank you. You're a total friggin' badass. And I'd like you to comment down below uh, Ultra Forms for Rivals, because since that's the last thing we talked about, you guys are going to be the only ones that know it. If you guys enjoyed this video, comment below and let me know. I can do more videos like this, uh, I have a lot of stuff saved in my Rivals picture folder, there's stuff from memes to just like almost complete redesigns of characters, and just fan art that I have in here saved that I thought looked really cool. Some of the other stuff is like Absa and Crag being redesigned to look like bosses from Mega Man games, which is super cool. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more of that, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Have a good day, everyone.